the Lord be with you. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? Not only is it simple, it's important. In fact, it's so important that it is found in the beliefs of every major religion. Sometimes it is stated negatively. Do not do to others what you would not want done to you. Either way, the message is clear. But do we re realize how significant these words are to today's world? General Omar Bradley from the ranks of World War II said this, the world has achieved brilliance without wisdom and power without conscience. Ours is a world of nuclear giants and ethical infants, end quote. Imagine giving a 10-year-old a bazooka to play with. What a bad idea. Why? Because a 10-year-old doesn't know the danger they are holding in their hands. The question is, do we? Instead of healthy debate and heated conversation, people are overrunning the steps of America's building, burning cars, shooting people on both sides of the law, spewing hatred at funerals, treating each other with blatant disregard. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It sounds so simple. What if we started living that golden rule? What if we started right here in our little corner of the world? Would it make a difference? Henry Nouwen says, compassion comes from two words, com meaning with and passion meaning suffering. Compassion is to suffer with another. It is not a feeling of distracted pity where we say to ourselves, oh, what a shame, that's too bad. It is actually sharing the pain. He says, compassion requires us to be weak with the weak, vulnerable with the vulnerable, powerless with the powerless. Compassion is not usually our chosen response to situations. I doubt anyone has ever said, when I grow up, I hope to be a compassionate person. But I do know people growing up who said, I want to make it in life. I want to get ahead. I want to be first. I want to be number one. I want to be the best. Christianity is the hardest religion in the world precisely because it goes against all our natural inclinations. Love your enemies? Forget about it. Pray for those who persecute you? Sure I will, that they'll get hit by a truck. Anyone who thinks that the Christian faith is easy, has never lived by faith in Jesus Christ. An anonymous author once asked it this way, are you willing to suffer, to sacrifice, to enter the pain and enter the anxiety that is all around us? If every soldier that went to Iraq felt like our son or daughter, brother or sister, if every child that starved to death felt like flesh of our flesh and bone of our bone, if every murder became like one of our family members, I wonder how much we would tolerate and how involved we might become to stop it. 
do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It sounds so simple. The story is told that Abraham Lincoln was riding home from church one Sunday discussing the sermon he had just heard. The reverend was well prepared, said Lincoln. He had a thoughtfully constructed sermon, but it lacked its most important ingredient. The pastor never asked us to do anything great. Today, I am asking you to do something great. For one week, live your life according to the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. If, if you see a need, you must stop and offer help. It is what you would want done unto you. While driving your car, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. With your spouse, children, grandchildren, parents, live your life in every relationship according to the golden rule. At your place of work, while in line at the DMV, when you are around people who aren't wearing masks, when you are around people who are wearing masks, remember the golden rule and become more than hearers of God's word. Become doers of God's word. Because in a world where every issue puts every person on different sides, where violence is considered an acceptable response, someone needs to stand up and say, this isn't how I would want to be treated. So this is not the way I will treat anyone else. This might just be one of the hardest weeks of your life. God bless you. Amen.